Hi, if you're watching this, you might be experiencing pubic bone pain during pregnancy, and I just want to say I'm sorry because it can range from slightly uncomfortable to really severe pain. So if you're experiencing it, I'm sorry. I really want to help you understand why that might be happening and what your treatment options are out there for you. My name is Krista Norwick. I'm a pelvic physiotherapist. I have a master's degree in pelvic physiotherapy, and I have extensive training in pelvic health including pregnancy and postpartum care. All right, so let's get into it. Pubic pain, what is it? Why might it be happening? Here's my model of the pelvis. So if you are experiencing pubic bone pain, you're likely experiencing it here. And oftentimes it's this jelly in between the two pubic bones. That's actually the cause of the pain or what you're feeling that is painful. And that is your pubic symphysis. It is cartilage that we call it articulates, but basically joins the two pubic bones together. Usually you're feeling pain in that area. And just for context, this is your lower back, pelvis, from below you've got your clitoris here, urethra, vaginal opening, anus, tailbone, pelvic floor muscles are filling the whole of your pelvis, these red muscles, and then here's your pubic synthesis, pubic area. So why might you be feeling pubic bone pain? This can happen during pregnancy for a number of reasons. So let's get into it. The first thing is that your hormones are changing during pregnancy and that in itself can make your joints more susceptible to aches and pains. The second thing is that your body, your actual center of gravity, your abdomen, and everything is changing, which means that the pressure and demands on your pelvis are also changing during pregnancy. And that can create changes that might cause aches and pains. The other thing could be that your muscles aren't actually working to support the whole area as well as they used to. We expect that your pelvic floor muscles, these muscles, and your core muscles that attach here are going to change during pregnancy. They have to adapt and modify. It's part of the process. And as they do that, they might actually not be supporting the joints as well as they were before, or maybe they're not moving the joints or moving your body in the same way that you are used to. All of that is to be expected. However, that is where a treatment option can come in. So I'll get into that in a little bit. You also could be experiencing pain in this area and it's not pubic symphysis. So it could be something around the area, could be nerve or muscle or skin or joint. So you don't really know for sure until you have it evaluated. So how do you know for sure why you're experiencing pain? Well, the first person you should talk to is your primary care provider, like your doctor or midwife. And then the second person you should talk to is a pelvic physiotherapist who can evaluate if your muscles, bones, joints, ligaments are involved in what you're experiencing. There are multiple treatments that you can explore for pubic symphysis pain. So the first and most helpful one is pelvic physiotherapy. Seeing a pelvic physical therapist who can evaluate your muscles and joints in the area and then give you exercises to help address the root cause of the pain. So maybe there's weakness, tightness, maybe your balance isn't super good, and you can be given exercises to address those things and you can work on them and then that pain can go away, which is awesome. The other treatment that is available is a sacroiliac joint belt. This helps some people. It will also make it worse for some people. So I don't know for sure if it will help you, but it's a belt that you wear around your pelvis and it helps sort of squish and support your pelvis and that can alleviate pressure and pain in the pubic area. It can also sometimes make it worse. So be cautious with this one. I would definitely check with your team first before wearing the belt. And the tricky thing with these belts during pregnancy is they are often uncomfortable at that lower abdominal area. It just feels like they just don't fit properly a lot of them. So you might need to try a few. Really though, the absolute best way to get on top of the pain and address the underlying cause of the pain is to work with a pelvic physiotherapist. Yes, the belt can help some people, 
but it's better if you are going to use the belt to actually do it in a way that is guided by your pelvic physiotherapist. So you can work with them as a team to find the thing that's going to help you the best. And then of course, speaking with the other people on your care team to see if there's anything else that they can support you with. Your pelvic physiotherapist will assess your pelvic floor muscles, your core muscles, your joints, your balance, and likely give you some exercises to address what might be going on and what might be contributing to your pain. I'll teach people things from how to sleep in a better position all the way to how to take breaks when they're exercising to help alleviate these symptoms. So there's lots of different things that can help. And everyone is very individual, so I can't tell you for sure what's going to help you without doing a one-on-one -on -one assessment. If you want to see any of us, we see people online via video call, and you can book with one of our physiotherapists via the link in the description of this video. And if you're looking for someone in your area, you can search for a pelvic physiotherapist, pelvic floor physiotherapist, and look for someone with training in pregnancy. I really hope this video helps. I really hope that you can alleviate some of that pubic bone pain and feel better during your pregnancy. Have a good one. Bye.